What up, YouTube? Come back here, back in our video. Welcome back to Come Back React. Today's video we're reacting to J. Cole called Porch Antonio. He just dropped this on his head right now. You know, just out of the blue, no press, no nothing. So, yeah. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and new to never catch you back to my videos. That being said, let's get to this song, Port Antonio. That beginning reminds me of that one song that he put out a year or so ago. I think it was called, like, I forgot what it was called, but it's something. It was something like this. But it's good. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm rocking with this beat right here. This beat is kind of rocking. Chris, I like it right here. Okay. Uh, this is starting out for a while. Let's see Chico spit some bars for sure. Ride to it, ride to it, ride to it. Also, is this prepared for the off season? Let me know in the comment section below. Is this for the off season? Because I feel like it is. Because. It's even that freaking vibe from back in the job mix tapes type shit. Ride to it. Ride to it. Uh, young Jermaine walked the straight and narrow. Minimum wage jobs for the narrow. But still, my mind was. Minimum wage for the narrow, yes, sure, because you know, you ain't gonna come up so like that, you know, you're gonna. How that minimum wage and work for that the Nero. I see what he did there. Okay. The zeros. I fiend for the perch that was seen flipping birds, so we were skipping. I fiend for the fiends that flipping perks. Shit, that's that drug life right there. He's talking that real shit. That I like that. I like it. I like it. But my eyes was on the sparrows. Niggas flipping pies, spending thousands on a payroll. Shit, I wanna shine too. I want dime. Spend thousands on apparel because you know you guys look flashy and fly in the streets. Be like, Yeah, look me, I got this strip, I got this, I got this designer, you know what I'm saying? So, see what you did there. Two jealous niggas want to know just how my rhymes blew. Mono, we mono, I'm bono, I'm you times two. Now I'm bougie, I done out crew the fountain blue, but never. Now you bougie, now who uh, go spin that shit right there. That means me some real shit right here. Forgot the spot where I developed my plot The dwell at the top, the veil where all my skeletons locked If I could do it all over then I never would swap I seen good, I seen bad, had my melanin mocked I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ops I was Mike I seen long uh, friends turn to devilish ops Oh man, they can't They were good at first and then they Just turn around and betray you and now you just don't know who they are anymore. That's some real shit, though. That can really happen. How those cool friends, yeah, we're doing good. And next, another church at Devil Shop. Oh, man, Cole is back for that bar right there. I like that. Red leather trying to tell him to stop. You better beat it for you see that heavy metal get pop. He was a mean ass wing with a hell of a shot. But if no team draft king, he gonna bet on the block. He want a ball. No draft king, <laughs> like, kind of like the sports betting app right there. I see what you did right there too. Oh man, he's closing his back with this song. I like it. I like it a lot for real. Fall into the federal's knock. To sit his ass on the bench for moving careless with rock. You can't relate unless your father was not around and your mother went out and found someone else and they brought around and they sat. Oh man, you can't relate uh, unless your father was not around or your, mo your mother was trying to find someone around, you know, to fill that void. Oh man, spit your shit, spit your shit, bro. Bars, love this. Then combined when they married and brought you out of that poverty, then you moved to a soft little part of town so that when you back in the hood, you feel awkward about it now. Then your confidence start to drown, but the rapper gave you some positive thoughts so you jot them down. 
<laughs> so you guys jot down these notes. You know, I gotta take notes to build that confidence. I see what he did right there for sure. And man, cooking. Cold cooking. After that, those three future runs. That's why he's on solo shit. I Cole's pen game is never disappointed whatsoever. Whatsoever. This man can cook. You shot him down. Ride to it. 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 Y'all niggas ain't stopping me. 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 Ain't no one gonna stop Cole because this man's in the top three to the rap game for sure. This man, it's above anyone that's hating on him. I've been listening to J. Cole since 2007. This man has been clicking since then to now. See his maturity grow from the first tragedy he dropped to now. This man has been on a whole different level. Yeah, uh, Benjamin Button, cold flows reverse time to find. <laughs> I see you did that Benjamin Button, cold uh, rhymes reverse time. That Benjamin Button gives you know, Benjamin went right back in time and grew, well, younger and stuff like that. So I was like, holy moly. <laughs> Let's see you did there. Richmond Buttons is actually a good movie too. You guys haven't watched that. I recommend you guys watch that shit too. Delivery's good as mine. You gotta search primes. I'm scaling heights higher than birds can perch. Trying to be something. Hoping that peace comes to my cursed mind. One thing's for sure that I've matured from my first rhyme. I learned. He matured from his first rhyme. Because, like I said in the beginning, he grew from his first project to now. This man's war. This pen game. Has grew rapidly very, very well. All of this. The goal, you can't please them all, and it hurts trying. In this game, where all you've got is your name, like dirt. I'm smirking at niggas trying to be smirch mine. Absurd. Trying to besmirch his name, trying to throw dirt on it. Oh man. You gotta be messed up if you're trying to throw dirt on anybody's name right there. Because throwing dirt on somebody's name, that's just a shame, shame, shame right there. Never do that at all. Cold spin some real shit. I love this though. It's in his bag. Times with a fake get told it is wise. I can see hating both for your eyes, but the third's blind. So you search like hating your eyes with a third is blind. Like you know, like, like you had that third eye that's going to like a universe or whatever. I forgot what it's called, but it's like having your third eye right there type shit. You know. I see he did right there because your third eye is blind. You can't see what's going on. Like, it's like Inception right there. Okay. But you struggle, which explains the puzzled look on the dull faces. The word finds. I hate when raps become, but like, do not disturb signs. Can I get it? I hate when raps come, to, do not disturb signs. Oh man. Like, they just don't be bothered. They just like, eh, whatever, you know. Like, dang, like. That's crazy. That's pretty some real shit though. I like that. See, it's about the dough. They instigate the fuckery because it's profitable. But saying stop the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to go. They wanted blood. They wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They wanted blood to make their pockets grow. Oh man, talking about like those the social media aspect of things nowadays. They just wanted for clicks and views and like, oh my god, I can make some quick bucks out of doing this and. Shit. Shit. <laughs> it's to make your pockets grow bigger, like Cole said right there. See this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost the battle dog. I would have lost the bro. I would have gained the phone. And all he would have lost the battle. He would have lost her brother. Oh, man. That would be crazy shit right there. Losing her brother over some shit like that can be crazy. Because beef can be very... Very deadly sometimes. Like how Rap Beef was from back in the day to now. Bro, if it was back in the day type shit, uh, like he could be either that person could be in the hospital or dead. And it's all because like that beef in the streets between two individuals that can stop like counter and action one another back and forth, back and forth, back and forth type shit. Speak to shit, Cole. I love this. What just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for since the age of 14. 
Jermaine is no king if that means I gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social media competing for your favorable memes to be cons- uh, On social media competing for your favorable memes? Oh yeah, cause you know memes do be tend to be funny sometimes. You know, sometimes they can hurt the person too, but most of the time it can be funny. It depends on what it is though, you know. He's competing with your favorite memes on men. Nicole is above any other memes because, you know, memes are funny too, but when you have bars like J. Cole, bro, I love it. The best to live and rest, the weight of both things. I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing, protecting legacies. Oh, man, I think he's talking about Kendrick and Drake right here. Both swinging to, to, to get first, like Kendrick, Drake. Who's going to get first? Who's going to get first? Who's top dog? Who's top dog? You know, so I can see the things that with Kendrick and Drake right here in this particular one right here. So lines got crossed, perhaps regrettably. My friends went to war, I walked away with all they blood on me. Now some will discredit me, try wipe away my pedigree, but please find a nigga out that's rapping this incredibly. Uh, my find a nigga that's in rapping incredibly because Jacob, cool. so, you know, some people don't like Jacob, but he has bars. Like I've been saying throughout the school field, this man has freaking bars. And he's got to pay attention closely to what he's saying because he's spitting some real shit. I know other artists can really spit, you know. So, yeah. Dog texted me, I shared the words he said to me. If you refuse to shoot the gun, don't mean the gun ain't deadly. Uh. If you refuse to shoot a gun, don't mean the gun is deadly. Yeah, because if you shoot that gat, oh man, it's going to cause a whole bunch of conundrum and shit like that. And she could go left real quick. Guess in that metaphor, hypothetically, the gun is me. I text her back like, guess the gun ain't what I'm trying to He said hypothetically, too, because the gun is him. I see it can go off in any second. I see what he did. My nigga, they stripped me of my spot, and now I'm finally free, my nigga. They say I'm picking sides, they don't you lie on me, my nigga. To start another war, hey, Drake, you'll always be my nigga. I ain't... Oh, he, took, he mentioned Drake right there. You know, I was going to war and stuff like that. Missing Drizzy, I see what he did there. Because Drake always be wanting to like beef. Or well, people want to beef for Drake in general, so. It's like, dang, like. All they hate for Drake's like, damn, bro. Like, what is it, media talking about his ghostwriters or. Beef for Kendrick Lamar that's been making headlines for the last couple months throughout the summer and a few weeks and stuff like that. So it was like. Bro, Drake kid has the biggest hate in the game right now. And I guess because, like, some people want to be take his number one spot and stuff like that. I mean, hate or love it, Drake has been on top for, like, a long ass time now. And, I mean, I'm not a big fan of him either, but I'll give him credit where he's due when he's definitely solidified his name in the industry for sure. Shame to say you did a lot for me, my nigga. Fuck all the narratives. Tapping back into your magic pen is what's imperative. Reminding these folks what Tapping back into your magic pen is imperative. You know, taking back tap tapping back into like, you know, writing, going ham and paying these killer bars that you so know you can do in your mind to spit your thought and process into it for sure. Speak your shit, Cole. We do it, it's not for beefing, it's for speaking our thoughts, pushing ourselves, reaching the charts, reaching your minds, deep in your hearts, creeping up, find emotions to touch, something inside to open you up, help you cope with the rough times and shit. I'm sending love cause we ain't prime and shit. Mine. He's sending love right there. This man's always sending love. Trying to make, man, make a mess between two people. This man. It's the peacemaker. He, I think he shouldn't be the media for sure because remember he deleted that whole Intention of Kendall Lamar diss that was on his mixtape might delete later. So I feel like he's just trying to be peacemaker in the game for sure. Let's finish this song though. It's only like 23 seconds. Alright guys, that was 
All right, guys, that was uh, J. Cole, uh, Port Antonio. Really good song. I, I feel like this is the vibe for the fall off for sure. This upcoming project, I'm definitely going to do a whole album review when that comes out. I can't for that. But yeah, if you guys want that, make sure you comment in, uh, comment in the comment section below. This is your boy, Quinn Mark. Till next time, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the notification bell to the uh, videos. Till next time. Peace.